there, fellow chalk and friends. It is Megan Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Oh, it's been crazy. <laughs> so here I am. So thank you for your patience. Tonight we are feeling a little bit lucky. We're gonna get lucky. No, I did not say that. Um, we're feeling lucky because we are going to um, have a little Irish luck with us this evening. And I'm trying to get your comments up so that you're not so far away. So hang on, give me one moment. And I can um, get it up. There we go. Oops. Yeah, okay. I really did not say that out loud. Hey, Mary Jo. Hey, Mary Jo, this night is just for you. My Irish friends. Um, so, we are going to use the I'm so lucky transfer and it is the traditional Irish blessing that says may your troubles be less your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door so this is the transfer that we're going to use um, and we are going to use it on this is a metal enamel board it's not a board I guess tray um, that I got from Michael's. They happen to be on sale this week, in case anybody was uh, needing a trip to Michael's. But they are on sale this week, and um, this was a $10 board, they're 40% off. So it's metal, it's, it's enamel coated. I'm curious to see how the chalk is going to stick to it, um, but it should. But I want to do some layering, and that's where I think it could get, could get a little dicey this evening is with our layering. So, I'm sorry I'm behind. I haven't cut anything up, I haven't stirred, I haven't done anything. Up until like two seconds ago, I couldn't even told you which transfer we were doing. <laughs> because I had like all these transfers all laid out and I thought this is what we were gonna make today and then I laid them all out and I'm like, no, no, that one doesn't work. No, that one doesn't work. So, hey Cheryl, I like the tray, should be cute. I hope so, Cheryl. I got my fingers crossed. Lisa, you do need this transfer. Are you Irish, Lisa? I don't know. I, I got maybe. I don't know nationalities based on last names, so I'm sorry. I don't really know. Um, but you're proud. I have a lot of very nice Irish friends. My grandmother's maiden name was Ireland, so I like to think that I'm Irish, but I'm really very small percentage Irish. But I do like to say because her maiden name was Ireland that I must be Irish, right? Um, what I've got. Well, I don't know. Maybe I, I did the ancestry thing. Anyways, that's a total digression. Let's talk chalk. <laughs> so, this transfer is meant to be layered. And it's meant to be layered with the So Lucky either on top of or behind the sentiment, the prayer, or blessing. So, I think we're going to do so lucky in the background in gold shimmer paste. And I think we're going to do the prayer over it with a little shamrock, maybe. I guess we could have left a little shamrock guy there. And then I have this really cute little shamrock ornament guy and some ribbon, and I thought we would tie it on so it kind of hangs off the edge. Maybe. I don't know. This was an afterthought. <laughs> maybe this will work. On it. Maybe it won't. So the big question is what colors should we really use? Because I want the green and maybe we don't need the black, but I think you need the black too. I think we need, I think we need all three colors. We could, we could skip the gold, but I think you kind of need gold, right? The Irish pot of gold. Maybe. So once again, I'm being indecisive when it comes to colors. So we're going to start with putting our So Lucky down. So these enamel boards are very similar to doing glass. So you will fuzz a lot because you don't want it to stick. Because the more it sticks, the harder it is to pull it off and the more likelihood you have of stretching your canvas. So I pulled it off my backer. I write on the back of my backer what it is so that I know, first of all, which side is the back and which side, or which transfer goes on what. 
So these are the Tracator transfers, and what Tracator is is the company that makes adhesive silk screen transfers, so that you can see there's a screen in there, and it's sticky on one side. These are reusable. You can reuse them. Um, this is not fuzzed enough. You can reuse them 8 to 12 times is what the company says, but if you take really good care of them, um, depending on what kind of surfaces you put on them, you can get a, a better life out of them than that. Um, like what I'm doing, which is fuzzing, so all I'm doing is I'm just picking up the lint from my clothing, and um, that makes the transfer not as sticky. So Tracator makes these amazingly wonderful reusable transfers. They also make Chalkology paste, which is what we're going to use, Chalkology ink, which is what we use when we want it to be permanent. They make surfaces, squeegees, all kinds of fun things. So that's what Chalkator is. For those of our new watchers, um, so what you do is you stick your transfer down, you run your finger over it, you make sure you don't have any air pockets. Because if you have an air pocket, what will happen is when you go to squeegee, you're going to get a bleed. And I think we're going to do the so lucky in the gold. And then um, I think we'll do the, I think we'll do this in green and then maybe this in black. No, okay. Maybe we do the so lucky in black. This in green and the Irish blessing in gold. Shimmer paste. If I could get the shimmer paste open, that would be nice. Maybe we want to gold shimmer paste. <laughs> Jeez, this one's new too. Hey Debbie. Hey Cheryl. Hey Lisa. Hey Terry. Oh my goodness. I did not want to open. Ah, I need to go work out, maybe, ladies. <laughs> So, our gold shimmer paste is open. What you do when you open up your paste is you take a look at them and you stir them. They should be um, like a yogurt sour cream consistency. If they're not, you add water to them. The shimmer pastes are a little bit more like putty um, because of the shimmer in them. So my green that I'm using is emerald green, which is actually a retired color but it's the most true to a Kelly green that we have. Um, the current greens are um, Green Envy, which is a very pretty bright green, which actually might not be a bad option, Green Envy. Um, so see the color differences in them? This is Emerald, this is Green Envy. So that would be a good green too. I don't really think you can go wrong with green. But for some reason I was, this one's almost, this guy's almost gone. He's old. So he needed a lot of love. He needed some water. He needed a, he needed a break. Um, and our black is perfect because this one's new too. So we don't need to do anything to the black. So what you do is you open up your paste. Before you do anything, you get your paste all ready to go. I'm assuming you guys can see what I'm doing. I just stir them up and then I just kind of set the lids on them until I'm ready to use them. And they're all ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to use just the regular small squeegee. This one didn't clean very well. It has some paste on it. So okay, we're going to put that one in our water bath. We just use our little small squeegee. And we dip and go. It's that easy. So when we chalk, we're going to do the gold on this, you squeegee up and down. You do not squeegee flat. You squeegee up and down because that's what actually pushes the paste through. If you squeegee up and down, that's what you get is you get these big blobs like this. Okay. By squeegeeing up and down, see the difference? You get a very, um, now sometimes what I do is I go up and down or I, I flatten it to get the paste on and especially with the shimmers but then I go back and I go up and down and look at how much more paste I get off so I think this is a better angle for you guys to be able to see kind of what I'm doing but I had a very nice friend of mine today she dropped off one of her daughter's old eye products so we're gonna try again to get the camera stand working so that you can truly see what my hands are doing 
So, you just stick it through, squeegee it off. I am working against the clock because I do not want my paste to dry. If it dries, when I pull off my transfer, it's going to come off. So when I go to pull off my transfer, it is fabric, it is a silk screen, so I do not want to stretch it. So I start it in the corner, but I pull it from the middle. And when doing that, I'm not going to stretch it. Now this is very stuck, and again, that's because this is enamel, very much like glass. I pull straight up and down, I try not to pull this way. By pulling straight up and down, my uh, transfer shouldn't curl. If I go like, if I pull it like this, it tends to curl up. It doesn't hurt the transfer that it curls up, it just makes it more challenging to store. So, I just pull it off, stick it right here in my water bath. Um, and I, I looked at last, video, last night's video to see if our angle was better, and I kept telling you guys I was going to show you how I washed the transfers, and I never did, so maybe we'll do that tonight. So, this is what we have so far. It's a very pretty goldy shimmer that says, so lucky. What you, then what I do is I take my squeegee, I take this excess paste as you can see and I just stick it right back in my container. I don't want to waste any of my paste. Paste lasts a very long time um, and it goes a long way. You don't need very much paste. So then I just take my wipe and I clean off my squeegee. Just like that. Ta-da! Magic! And then we can reuse it. I take my little stir sticks. When I clean my paste, I go around the edges and I kind of move it towards the middle just to get it off the edges. Because that's where it tends to dry first. So as you can see what I'm doing, this is harder with the paste, the shimmer, because the shimmer is a much thicker consistency. And then I do the same thing with this, get all the excess off, get it back in my container, take my wipe, wipe it off pretty easy. This is very simple, no stress, easy crafting. Anybody can do this. Anybody at all. Actually, take my wipe one more time. And then to make them maybe so that I don't have such a hard time getting them open, you just go around the edge and get the extra paste off because that's what happens is it dries. Oops, it dries in the um, crevices of the lid and that's why it's challenging for me and my getting older wrists <laughs> to uh, screw it up. Okay, so I'm just drying my Lucky because I really want to make sure it's dry because I'm going to layer on top of it. By layering on top of it, um, I have more likelihood of pulling the paste off when I put my new layer on. So I have a couple things going against me in this. First off, it's the shimmer, so already there's a, some, a barrier between a good adhesion because the shimmer is in the paste. My second strike against me is my surface is slick, um, so it, it doesn't have anything that's, you know, gripping the chalk on. Um, so this is, you know, ladies, very riveting television. Well, television. Facebooking, very riveting. You should be on the edge of your seats because you want to know, is she or isn't she going to pull off the paste when she pulls off this transfer? Are we taking bets, ladies? <laughs> okay, ooh, that was like fingernails on a chalkboard. Okay, so now I have our Irish Blessing. And I write on the back of it, Irish Blessing. so that I know what goes where and which side is the back. There is a definite difference between the two sides of the transfer, or the backer. One is shiny and more slick, and one is a little bit more dull. Um, you want to put it back on the shiny slick side in the event that you forget to write on the back. When I take my transfer off, I pull the backer off of my transfer. I do not pull my transfer off of my back. And I do that because it's less likelihood of me sticking it together because of the static cling that comes with it. I just pull it off. This baby is very sticky, so we're going to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz him. And this time, instead of using my shirt, I'm just going to use a towel. I'm just going to stick it down. And by fuzzing it, I just stick it to the towel and then pull it off. It's that easy. So this transfer, the Irish, it's called So Lucky. 
on, in the catalog, which you can see at www.chuckcouture.com slash makeandmaria. Um, or if, obviously you're watching me on my Facebook page, there is a button on the Facebook page that says, I think it says Shop Now. If you click on that, it takes you right to the website. Um, this is a B-size transfer. B-size transfers are 8.5 by 11 in size, and they're $14.99. So this is a nice transfer, um, very reasonably priced. And you have lots of options with it. I mean, you could use just the So Lucky. I mean, just the So Lucky with the little um, shamrock. It would be cute all by itself with a little ribbon. Just that way. You could do just the blessing by itself. You can do them together like we're going to attempt to do here now. But we'll see if it works. So my blessing needs to be a darker color than the gold so that it shows up. Depends on which part I want more pre pre predominant when you see it. Do I want the lucky to be more predominant or do I want the words? So that's kind of how you decide your colors. I'm smooshing down my letters, making sure that I'm straight because I have a tendency to not line things up straight. So I think, I think that I'm straight look straight. Getting my air up. When you have transfers like this that have all these little words on them, you really just kind of got to go over every letter because it's very easy for it to not stick. So I'm going to do the words in black and then I'm going to do the Irish blessing in the green. And then we're going to stick our little shamrock to it and this project is done. This is a quick and easy one, ladies. So I got a picture today sent to me our first sign up for the um, Club Couture Transfer monthly subscription box. Got her box today and uh, I got the cutest picture of her hugging that box today. It made me laugh and laugh. Oh my gosh, I laughed so hard when I got that picture of you hugging that box. Um, so now the chalk and fun can start because every single month she's going to get this fun transfer in the mail. And uh, it's tons of fun. I cannot wait to play with the um, Club Couture with you guys. So the um, tr March's transfer comes out on March 1st. So if you are interested in signing up and getting it in March, you need to sign up before March 1st. You have an add-on, if you would like, but you don't have to do, where you could add on the O Snap transfer. You don't have to do that though if you didn't particularly care for O Snap. Um, it's just an option. If you sign up now, March 1st or March 5th, they mail to you a new transfer. You have to sign up by the 1st. Um, they'll send you the new transfer and it's a surprise. We don't know what it's going to be. I don't even know what it's going to be. It's going to be so much fun to go to the mailbox and see what's in it. Okay, so I'm pulling slowly. I can see, if you can see what I'm doing, it is pulling up my Lucky. And I can tell you it's probably not fuzzed enough, which is probably why. So I'm pulling slowly, but it's not making a difference. It's going to pull it up, which is what we were worried about. Now it looks very distressed. <laughs> so it's kind of vintagey when it does this. pulling it off it looks really cool but so as you can see on the back of my transfer you can see the paste so I'm gonna put this in my water bath because if I'm gonna redo it I'm going to have to wash that off so let's take a look and see yeah you can't even see that it says lucky on it so this is what we I'm left with I guess you can kind of see that it says lucky but um, definitely needs to be redone don't you think So, because this is enamel, and I have the whole problem of it not sticking, it's really easy to clean up. All I do is spray it with a little water, I take a baby wipe, and voila, it's gone. Just washes right off. Now my shimmer is harder to get off, because again, it has stuff in it. It's not just paste, unlike the paste that comes right off. 
but it comes off. Oh, I'm just going to keep cleaning it up. Lisa loves her box. I can't. That was just the funniest darn picture. I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. But you hugging that box like I was hugging the box for my big, you know, big reveal when I got my boxes. And tomorrow, another box is coming. This one. <laughs> This one doesn't have as much stuff in it. This one has, I cannot read my face, oh my gosh. So there are these really cool circle boards that have a gold frame. They're 18 inch or 10 inch, and they're round circle boards, they're white, and the edge of the frame is gold, and they're a white chalkboard. They're coming tomorrow. We are gonna have some fun with those chalkboards. Okay, so voila, I'm clean. So, we learn from this ladies don't layer on enamel so I'm going to pull my water bath over because I put both transfers in there hey Sherry welcome to the party Sherry welcome Cassidy um, so what I'm doing can you, I'm gonna pull it over a little farther so you can see so this is my very dirty water bath that's because it's black ink or black chalk so that would be the other choice I could do because it's enamel. I could heat set it and use ink. Um, so what I'm doing is I am running my fingers up and down the transfer because of the excess paste. So I'm getting the paste off of the transfer. It's very easy to do. You just take your time and you get it all off. It's very easy. And at the same time, I'm rubbing my fingers on the back of it because the back of it has the fuzzing off on it. And by rubbing the back of it, the um, fuzzing comes right off. And that helps the longevity of your stickability of your transfer in the future. Okay, so I pull this out and I'm just going to lay it right next to me on my plastic sticky side up. Now. Because this transfer has the black on the one side, but it also has the gold shimmer on the sticky side, I really have to get the gold shimmer off the sticky side. So I'm just working that first to get that off. So one of the things that does not come in the Kickstarter kit if you get the Kickstarter kit when you do the club picture, is the little mini squeegee. And if you're in that other group, the Making Maria VIP group, there's an announcement in there about those of you that sign up for the club couture and uh, the little mini squeegee. I can't say it in this public forum, but you want to go to the VIP group because it talks about the club couture and the little special ditty with the little mini squeegee that goes with it. Okay, so I did the back. Now I just do the front. This is where my board eraser comes in. And I'll show you. I'm just going to move my water bath. I'm going to take the transfer out. This is glass, so this works very well. I stick it on my glass. It's not sticky sticky right now because it's wet. And I take my board eraser. I just get it wet in my water bath and I rub it gently over my transfer. And see the black that, if I don't do it with the board eraser, the black stays on it. The black doesn't hurt the transfer, um, but if you like your transfers to look all pretty and pristine, um, this is a very nice way to get the black off. You definitely don't want like chunks of paste or you want anything, the pigment being remaining on the transfer is okay, but if you've got anything that's not just pigment, you need to get it off. Okay. So see now, all that black is gone. And then, very lightly on the back, I can also do this on the back, very lightly, and that also helps me with the fuzzing things. You don't want to rub, because this will eat up your um, silk screen. Just very gently go over it. The board eraser is a very nice tool. Okay, so now my transfer is wet. Now normally what I do is I have these 
drying rack things everywhere, which of course they're everywhere except right here right now. I'll show you one. I have one right here. It has transfers on it. I just, you know, I bought these at the dollar store and I like these. I lay them on there until they dry. It doesn't take very long for them to dry. And once they're dry, then I put them back on the backer. I slide them back into their little plastic pouch that they came in and I store them that way. Uh, what's nice about that is it says on the back of the pouch what the transfer's name is. So if you ever were like, oh, I need that one again, or oh, somebody wanted to know what that one was called, you know, it says it right on the back. But we're going to use this again right away. So I'm going to speed up my drying by wiping it with my towel. And see, it's still not sticky. I can still, there's no stick to it because it's still wet. It's still damp. Um, I need it to dry dry before it gets sticky again. See, so now the stick is coming back. But, don't do that because that's bad. Um, you want it to dry, really dry. Especially because of the surface we're going to put it on. So I think what we're going to do is we're not going to layer. Because if we were doing this on a wood board, it wouldn't be an issue at all. We wouldn't, the, the gold would stick, but it's because of the enamel. It was a bad choice, but it was a, I was trying to punt quickly to cook, to get to you guys. So it was just not a good choice. It's a better choice for a project that does not require layering. Can you do it? Yes, you can. If you really want to be patient and are totally in love with those boards. Okay, so again, the shimmer is still on the front of my transfer. So see, you can still see the gold shimmer. Um, this is the issue I have with the shimmers. I talk about this all the time. Me and my shimmer issues. I got issues with shimmer. Um, my issues with the shimmers is they leave, you know, it's like glitter. They get on stuff. The, sh the copper and the gold are much less. The silver is everywhere when you use the silver. Okay. So, our So Lucky is also all cleaned off and ready to go. Now it's just a matter of what are we going to do with them. So lay them down and just dry them. And now he's going to be really sticky. So we could put him on here if we don't layer. But I really don't think that they're both going to fit if we don't layer it. I don't think maybe we could do so lucky kind of off and our Irish blessing. We, we, could, we could try to finagle it onto here. I'll go up in the corner more. This is, they're really sticky, so it's really sticking. That's because I haven't fuzzed it again yet, because I'm really just trying to lay it down and see what we can make fit. That'll work. And then we can put our little shamrock. What do you think? You're really quiet again, ladies, or am I not seeing comments? Are you guys there? Hello? Earth to viewers. Are you guys with me, or am I just not seeing? Okay, so I think, first off, I need to fuzz. Oh, I'm getting, like, hearts and things. Ooh, Cassidy, what are you hitting that I'm getting cool little hearts? Oh, my goodness. I see your little, I see my little buddy William going up and down in the bathtub. <laughs> so I think that means you guys are there. Go for it. Okay, Terry. Terry says go for it. So I'm just fuzzing on my, these uh, fleece flannel shirts are really good for fuzzing. Um, so are my, my nighttime sweatpants are also very good for fuzzing. Bathrobes work really well too. Any towel, anything that has lint on it. The key is just to get enough fuzz on it so it's still sticky, but it's not super sticky. Okay. So maybe the nice thing about this board is it has this rounded edge. So we can totally go off the board and still get our sentiment, I think. I think we can make it upside down. I think we can make it work. All right. 
start. We're gonna try it. If we really don't like it at the end, we'll just wash it off. Okay, so I'm just smoothing out my air. Because I'm going over a curved surface, you just gotta work that air. You're not worried necessarily about the green part sticking, it's really just around the silk screen that you need to worry about. I do very much like the gold on here. Oh, and I had this all cleaned up so nice, I shouldn't have closed this up. Okay, so we're back to gold sugar. Everybody okay? <laughs> All right, so we got our gold shimmer out. And we are pasting away. So there was lots of talk today in the groups that I'm in about the Chalk Couture Convention that's going to be in Dallas in June. Oh my gosh, I can't wait going to be so much fun see all my chalk and friends bye love you bye love you good night night he thinks it's funny that he's on here every night saying good night to me Ugh. oompa loompa don't oompa loompa go to bed crazy kids it's those teenage years ladies I wouldn't want to be a teenager today Think you could pay me enough money to do all that all over again okay so I'm just going around my edge because it's curved making sure I have all of my silk screen covered so I was so proud of myself today you know my car blew up last week I, it didn't blow up but the engine blew whatever that's called um, so I have been driving my husband's truck which is you know quite the feat just in itself now I drive a truck as well it's just not a pickup truck it's a suburban type truck and um, oh, this is really stuck. so we have this garage that I, I have never been able to figure out how he gets his truck in the garage because it's it's quite the amazing feat as to how he does it so today, I decided that I was going to attempt, because <laughs> my truck is in the garage, the one that's broken, I was going to attempt to back his truck in to the garage all by myself, with no direction. I was home alone, I'm like, nobody's watching me, I don't have to be nervous. I mean, he gets this sucker in there, and I, I, mean, I think he's got an extra inch of space. And I'm like, I can do this, right? Girl power. It's a truck. How hard can it be to back into a garage? <laughs> well, I'll have you know, I very much succeeded in getting his little, his big truck in the garage. And I didn't hit anything. <laughs> I had a little bit of a hard time getting out because I was so close to the other truck. But I did succeed, and I was all proud of myself, right? So then I take my daughter to dance lessons. And uh, we're coming home, and I'm like, okay, I, now it's dark out. And I'm like, I'm not putting this truck in the garage again. He can back it in. But I'm going to line it up for him. So I go to line up the truck. And my foot slips and goes on the accelerator <laughs> instead of the brake. And my daughter, she screams bloody murder in the back seat. Like, I'm killing her. Oops, I need to dry this. And we were literally a half an inch from the basketball hoop because we were going forward to back it in. Half an inch. Thank God for the snowbank. Oh my goodness, ladies. I'm like, sure, I can back it in, but I can't line it up in the driveway. My heart was racing after that one. You know, vehicles and me have just never really gotten along. That's why this last one was such a nice truck. We had it for nine years. It's been amazing. Yeah. In one day of driving, it's the only day I've driven my husband's truck. In one day of driving his truck, I almost, you know, took down the <laughs> basketball hoop in the driveway. 
Okay, so I do have a, a slight bleed on this side because it's curved and I didn't get it down good enough. So I'm just taking my Q-tip and getting it off. So now we have So Lucky on the edge. Because Maria likes to live on the edge, right? All right. So now we're going to try our blessing again. And maybe we should do our... Did you like it in the black? can't decide if I liked it in the black. It was just okay in the black. And I think I just think black because it's enamel. And enamel should be have black on it, but we don't have to be black. Maybe we should do this in green. What do you think? Black or green? Cheryl! <laughs> Lisa! My color friends that never steer me wrong. Now I'm trying not to put my transfer down on top of the So Lucky because it does go over a little bit. And the trick to that is you take a backer sheet and you just stick it there and it won't stick where you don't want it to then. Um, okay, I'm thinking you ladies aren't with me because I don't have any comments. So, we do have this the green in our little shamrock guy that we're going to tie on. So, I guess we're, going, we're sticking with the black. Oh, I'm just going to dip and go. So the black almost always leaves that pigment on your transfers. Black, red, there's certain colors that leave it. It doesn't hurt. My little transfer is, there we go. Still underneath. There we go. Just needed to move my backer out of my way. There you guys are. What was the question? I missed it. <gasps> you guys are. Is that Chicago Fire on again tonight? Debbie, are you watching Chicago Fire again? <laughs> you guys are too Tim and me, aren't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see how it is. I worry all day about what transfer I'm going to make for you ladies. Mm-hmm. And now you guys are just doing other things. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'm totally teasing you. I don't even know what night of the week Chicago Fire is on. Ooh, the good doctor. What's that one? Cheryl's watching the good doctor. <laughs> Lisa says, you're here, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so. We're just going on with our black. We're going to do our green. So I think we're moving into baby week. I don't know. We've, we've got so many fun transfers to make. But I've got me some baby stuff to make. And, oh, you're feeling uh, Irish? Okay, so I kind of messed up the M and the B because of my laying it down goofy. But that's an easy fix. So I'm just pulling it off, our sentiment off. And again, I'm pulling it the wrong way. I should be pulling it more up and down. Okay, I like it better now. Right, we needed the green. Good choice of colors. Thank you, Cheryl. Hey, Tammy. She waits all day long for my lives and don't get the notifications. Tammy, there's a button you have to click to say get notifications, and then you should get them. Um, but I, Tammy, almost always at 9 o'clock, after everybody's in bed, is when I go. Um, sometimes it's 8.30, but that's very rare. Um, 9 o'clock, little, 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 little kids are in bed. So it's almost always 9. But thank you for waiting all day for me. <laughs> I wait all day for you guys, too. This is my, you know, adult fun for my day. Okay, so other than I'm going to need to clean up my M and my B, cute little sign. I don't know if you can see the green. See how the green? And I, I like the little pop of green. I'm glad we did the little pop of green. 
So next, well, I'm going to clean up the M and the V. So much easier to clean your squeegees when they're wet than normally. Sometimes I wait till we're done, and then I clean the squeegees, and then it um, it's harder when they're wet. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl loves it. Terry loves it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Five million more times. Thank you. <gasps> Did you guys see how close we are to 200 followers? Oh, my goodness. I think that is absolutely crazy. Hey, well, we're going to add this one up here. So what do you think? Should we tie this guy on so we have a little dimension? Or should we just put this guy on in green? So we could chalk it on in green, or I have a button push to see your stuff first. Is there something else, ladies? Help. I think you just have to turn notifications on. I'll, I'll play with it and see afterwards, and I'll message you, Tammy. Plus, I need your address, Tammy. I need to send you the pillow you want. Um, so three-dimensional. I know, 200. Isn't that crazy? Easy that 200 people follow this. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, all of you that watch it, especially those of you that watch my replay. So we can go three dimensional or we can just chalk. If we go three dimensional, I think you should tie it on with the to the rope holder. Yep, and I got some like black and white. Um, it's not buffalo plaid, this is probably more gingham. I also thought like a gold ribbon would be good, um, but I didn't have any gold ribbon, so this is what I got stuck with. So I think if we stick this guy on here, and maybe do a bolt. Untie him and chalk the guy in. This should be down farther though. Ooh, Cherry says ch chalk. Sticking up in the air. I think I tied it. Oops. <laughs> it's it. Yeah. Okay, do over. He's tied too tight. Ugh. I really like these enamel boards. I don't know why I like them so much because, as I can tell now, they're not going to necessarily work the best if I want to layer. If I don't want to layer, they're going to be beautiful. Cheryl likes that. Terry says cute. Timmy says cute. Okay, so I'm trying to get my little thing back in here. Okay, he's back in. Interestingly enough. Okay. Try this again. It is really kind of a cute little... And I thought about hot gluing it on too. And then we could hot glue the bow on. Possibilities are endless. Bows are not always my thing, but I thought for a little, you know, you know, you know what that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tie it so tight till now. I'm going to tie it up tighter. Okay. Cheryl says, or you could put a magnet on the back of the shamrock and have the bow on top. That's what I was thinking too, Cheryl. If I can't get this. Oh, there we go. I was just tying it wrong. Okay. I'm going to set it down here to make my little bow. Grandmother's, my grandmother's maiden name was Ireland. I should be Irish. I would think I would, there would be Irish in me, right? So it lays flat. Yep, you're right, Cheryl. It needs to lay flat. Okay. I need 
need to cut my little ends off, but here's what we've got. He's wet now. Hold it up this way. So it's cute. The bow's crooked. The bow needs work. I think I would put a little dab of hot glue there. But is he too low now? I'll mess with the ball. But I like the little dimension of it. So this is my little Irish song, sign. So please share my video if you haven't already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Five million more times thank you for sharing my video. If you are interested in any of these products, they are at www.chuckcouture.com slash Maria. You can see the whole catalog there and all of the products that I use. Um, with the exception of when I don't use a chalk couture surface like this one, then I tell you where I got it from so that you can uh, um, recreate um, the club couture transfer. If you want the one, if you want a transfer in March, you need to sign up before March 1st. So if you want to be part of the club, it's a uh, subscription where you only have to do three months, and then after three months, you can cancel at any time, and then it's month to month, so you can change it at any time, and it gets you. A transfer, a B-size transfer, so a, a eight and a half by eleven transfer, and three paste packets every month, magically shipped to your door, so that you can have the opportunity to play as well with the Chuck Couture products. So, um, if you don't sign up before March first, you won't. You you can sign up, but you won't get it until April. Although you can always add on to the previous month's one, I suppose. So, maybe um, sign up before March if you want. March, a March one. So, that's all I got for you, ladies. And we don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be a surprise. Oh my gosh, the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> I'm rambling. Thank you for watching me. I hope you have a lovely evening, ladies. See ya. Bye.